So I have a bike fitting video coming out. It's 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 this far away. And when I was editing it, I thought I should do some videos on the on the files from Liam Oak, so you have a better understanding. So this is why I'm going to do this, and I had the idea I'm going to do this once a week of a file. So I picked a very easy file to start with, and let's let's get into it because it's very exciting. As we talk about the pelvic angle, your pelvic sits on a seat. And this is my favorite seat. This is a Cell Italia. I think it's called the SDO one Boost. It is super comfortable and I am super stable on it for myself. Um, and I'm giving it away, so stay tuned. Okay, so this file here, it's a, it's a nice one to start with. And I'll just give you, if you've never seen this, this application before. At the top you just have your training. This is your heart rate is the pink line. The red line is my SRM indoor bike. This was done on SRM indoor. If you want to know what that is, click somewhere up here. Blue line is your cadence. Q1, your foot angle range, your leg angle range, your pelvic angle, pelvic rotation, pelvic rock. And at the bottom you have all the intervals that you did. If you click here, click, <clears throat> it will pin it because it's a pin. <laughs> Okay, so then you have a, when you hover your mouse over the intervals, you, where they are. So what we're going to look at is one metric, and we're just going to look at pelvic angle. What I will do is, if you just click these metrics here, they just magically disappear. I've got pelvic angle, okay, missed one. What you see is, pelvic angle remains very stable, then it drops, goes higher, goes in the middle, drops, goes higher, goes in the middle, drops a little, drops, slowly increases, goes higher, slowly increases, goes back to normal, drops, goes higher, it's, it's, it's not rocket science, okay, and I've even labeled them for you. Okay, so obviously I'm in my drops, the first one, so the pelvic angle is, is kind of low, and then I'm in my hoods, so I'm, I'm actually further up, and when you're standing, it, it it doesn't seem like it, but you're actually um, you're a little bit less than your hoods because you, you do go up higher, but you actually move forwards. It's pretty straightforward, and just with the pelvic angle, you can see you can see everything within the training. Now, the interesting thing is, uh, we did some tests where uh, <clears throat> when you find your optimal position in a bike fit, you want to maintain that position as much as possible so you can produce that power on the road. The whole purpose of a bike fit is for you to ride well outside, not to get good numbers in a lab, is to get the numbers on the road. That's what you want to do because that's what you want. You want you want to perform as best as possible on the road. And if people say, yeah, but I'm not a racer and things like that, doesn't matter. We want you to be as most comfortable as possible on the road. We want you comfortable. We want you to be riding as efficient as possible, and then you, you just enjoy riding more. It just just makes sense. So we're just looking at pelvic angle here, and you can you can clearly see every position that you're riding in. We did this one test where if you maintain the position that you're fitted at, your optimal position, if you held that position, this one ride in particular could ride 12.5% longer duration at his VO2 max, which is a huge, which is a huge difference. It's a huge difference. It's a huge difference. We just add in a few extra MPIs and we've gone through the, the pelvic angle. You actually see here, now if I look at this one here, this is the drops ramp. Okay, so you see the ramp test. So you've got the power going up. We're not going to talk about dead spot score, ARQ1 or FAR. We're just looking at the pelvic angle. So you see the pelvic angle and then, you know, as it gets harder, I'm, not, I'm losing my position. It's slowly going up, slowly going up. And here's my breaking point. This I'm holding pretty well, but I'm breaking here. There's a huge increase. I'm just plateauing. And you see it quite a lot with the pelvic rock. So um, I've actually locked up. And also with my bike fitting procedure, what we're trying to do is trying to make it as fluid as possible. The numbers are all good. And then as soon as here, you go, <laughs> there's a lot more movement there. And that's my breaking point. And it happens at the exact same time as your pelvic angle really increases. And it happens when my legs deviate. Now, this is super important, okay? If you get tired and you fatigue and you move a little, totally understand, it's just part of sport. You, just, you get tired when you do things too hard. Um, but when your legs are doing something totally different, this is what you don't want because you, you've got to be symmetrical. So there's a weakness on one side of my body and this, this effort is too hard and you see it directly and it happens all together. Like it's this 
you see the legs deviate here, you see the pelvic angle increases there, you see the, the, the rotation also increases and the rock also increases. Going back to this test with this one rider, if you were to hold that position, so I was not self-aware, I, I was not watching, this was a blind ride, I was doing some tests with it. If I would have held my pelvic angle at a specific position, I'm sure every other metric would have stayed better, longer, and I was able to uh, ride. But that wasn't the purpose of this test. And if you just want to do a real quick overlook at some of the values you see, when you're doing your ramp, when things get harder, your body changes, your body changes, foot angle ranges change. You see, slowly, your leg angle ranges change, then they deviate, your pelvic angle changes, different ramp test, different position, exact same thing totally different again, also decrease, also deviation, and then when you're looking at an effort that's way too hard at too lower cadence, super deviation. Um, definitely a weakness in my leg and, I, and I'm aware of it. So it's, uh, it's a good time to focus on your, on your training and your position because <coughs> chrono. <laughs> so to win it, it's very simple. Can you work out what position you're sitting in just by looking at the pelvic angle. So answer yes or no, and I will, how will I work out the winner? Mm -hmm. Answer yes or no in the comments, and, and I'll draw the winner from those answers.